Okay, this is a quick and dirty demo of the new Proto Fuzz pedal, um, yet to be named. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to just play a regular Telecaster through a regular Fender 112 Deluxe. No other pedals, just the guitar, the pedal, and the amp. Um, and I'm not going to adjust the tone control or the volume knob on the guitar at all. It's just the, the pedal and the guitar on full the whole time. And the reason I'm doing that is that's kind of what this pedal is supposed to do. So there's this master volume and master on off section here, pretty straightforward. And then there are these two channels, although they're identical. They're, they run the same stuff on the inside. You could just have two presets in a way, analog presets, but presets nonetheless. And you have a pre-gain and a, a bass roll off tone control, depending on how you want to look at it. And the concept is that the fuzz is actually on full inside, like you'd run a fuzz face on full uh, or a tone bender off and on full and then adjust your volume from there. But that doesn't always work if your pedals are in a buffered loop or if you use wireless systems or maybe you're just not great at using your volume knob, whatever, you end up not getting access to all those great rolled back fuzz tones. So when this is on max, it's as if you're playing into a fuzz face on max with your guitar volume on max. As you turn this down, it's more the equivalent of turning down the volume on your guitar than turning down the fuzz on a fuzz pedal, if that makes sense. That's the concept here, is that you can jump to different presets. Um, however, there's this little tiny tone control knob there, because often when the fuzz is at max, it's too bassy, or when the fuzz is low, it's not bassy enough, or the other way around, depending on what kind of music you like. So. Um, Instead of a standard tone control that adjusts the highs, the highs are always coming through. This actually rolls out low end. It feels like a sort of treble boost as you turn it clockwise and you roll out the bass, but it's not. It's just a sort of perceived treble boost because so much low end is disappearing. And conversely, when you crank the bass, it feels like you're rolling the tone knob down, which you're really not. It's just so much bass that it starts to become darker and woollier. Again, it's it, how it feels and functions versus the technicality of it might be two different things, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty intuitive once you start messing with it. So, okay, there's two and a half minutes of talking with no guitar, so let's do something. This is just the, the clean sound. I'm going to do all three pickups here. Up or anything, it's just clean, clean. So we'll start with um, one, although they're identical. We'll start on one at the sort of uh, middle gain and middle tone control. see it's it's still fairly clean it's fuzzy but um usable for kind of classic rock tones or bluesy tones or whatever you want i like that it also uh retains chord clarity i mean you could hear if i'm playing sixes or nines or major sevens even with the fuzz going <laughs> Happy. All right, so let's mess with the um, the tone control there. I'm gonna go extreme and turn it all the way to the bassy side. <laughs> Pretty 
happy. So back to the sort of middle again. I'll turn the gain down now, fairly low. It's a little trebly, so I'll warm it up by adding in some more low end. That's a bridge pickup on the telly. Surprisingly warm for a bridge pickup on a Telecaster through a fuzz pedal. And if we lower the gain even more, it kind of gets to the point where it's 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 just sort of a clean. It will give it a lot of gain here. And if we add the low end back in, it gets it gets pretty massive, even with the gain uh, not all the way up. So this is like max treble or minimum bass, I guess technically, and max gain as well. So I mean, I'll set the other channel fairly identically so you can hear how they switch back and forth. So if you like that sound, you can kind of have the other side maybe fuller with more low end. flavors of the same thing is one way of doing it or you know completely completely different um, so you can kind of see each you know each side individually is pretty versatile I mean they're the same to the point where you can kind of mix and match whatever, two different low gain sounds. That one almost sounds like a pickup selector, so maybe if you have a junior or an Esquire or something, that's useful. And of course your clean sound. Yeah, so that's it. So these lower settings are supposed to sort of simulate um, the max with the guitar roll down. I'll do one, I suppose. So here's with the pedal max, but the guitar rolled back. And then here's the guitar back up, but the pedal rolled it back. Fairly similar if we adjust the low end.
So there you go. It's sort of a cheat for rolling back. Um, two channels, although they're the same, but it's a, it's a good channel, so um, might as well have two of them. And that's about it. Otherwise, um, top jacks and top power I'm running on 9 volt. Sounds the same with the battery or with the plug. I've been going back and forth. Um, the stomp switches are not attached to the circuit board, so if you break them or something, you could just yank them out and stick new ones in there. Same thing with the jacks. They're not board mounted at all. Um, the power, the in, the out, and the stomps are all separate. And um, what else? That's probably, that's probably about it. It sounds really good with roads, with keys, with bass. It sounds good in an insert for um, running drums or keyboards or other full range things through. You could put fuzz on a drum mix and dial the lows out and only put fuzz on the, the snare and cymbals and stuff. I mean, do whatever. It's a full range fuzz that works at low gain, medium gain, and high gain um, and has a unique sort of bass roll off tone control type of thing. So. That's it. There are 10 of these. Um, the next batch will be much larger. It's the exact same guts, so the exact same sound, everything. Just the artwork will be different because these ones have a sort of plate that's etched, stuck to a, a blank enclosure. And I think we're going to go to silk screening directly onto the box. But other than that, it's going to be the same exact thing. So that's it. Thanks.